everyone, welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today, we're back to playing The Sims 4. Finally, I am so, so sorry. Okay, I've been going through a loophole. Grief hit me harder than I thought it would, 100% honesty. I've been working college work, school work, you know, that has been really hard. Um, just working everything out. My life has been hectic, so I'm very sorry for the lack of uploads. I've been trying my best. I've also recently put out a poll. The winners were Until Dawn and Baldur's Gate 3. I'm gonna finish The Last of Us here, but I was thinking about starting streaming, so maybe y'all could weigh in on the choices a little? I, I don't know. I'm gonna do another poll on that, and if you wanna see me stream, make sure to comment down in the comments below but let's get back to the sims in bloom legacy challenge okay i worked so incredibly hard on this house it is ridiculous um yeah so this is the front of the house and we still have the pond which is oh that looks awful it's kind of glitching like you can see where the end of the lot is over there but we also have the cow plant berry over here by the trees we have this greenhouse area with all of our plants. The bee box is here. We still have our little uh, yoga mat by the trees. The laundry still a thing. Uh, we have this, the swings, that, a place to eat over here as well. Oh, there's, um, there's a grill right there. We have the meditation and the logic skill with the wishing well and the card table. I don't think there's anything off to the side. Yeah, there isn't really anything off to the side. On the porch, though, we have the little bug box, the that thing, um, flower arranging table, and we have the wood for a fireplace. Now, uh, going inside, there's just this little entry away that I decided to build. Here's the dining room in all of its glory. Of course, I had to make this living room as cute as possible. We've got little book nook right here, which I love. Uh, fireplace and then the kitchen, which only has a few appliances, just the appliances I really like. Um, and I made, I, I used this table as like an island and I set two chairs there. I thought it was really cute. Um, you go over here, there's a hallway, of course. Um, there, there's not much to the hallway. This is the main bedroom which I thought was really cute. This does work, by the way. I've play tested it. Um, of course, we have the bathroom here and the bathroom here. This is the children's little room. Um, yeah, and that's it for the bottom floor. But then we go upstairs and there's like this skylight type area that I decided to include. There's, there's not an actual skylight, but I just thought this was cool and gave the hallway a bit of personality. Um, this is an office. There's not much to it. It's a small space. We've got a gym, though, which is really nice. So we've also got the yoga mat and meditation thing inside for, like, rainy days and stuff. Um, we've got another bathroom right here. This is going to be where a closet is later. Um... And then in here is going to be the future generations room. So whichever one of these two little girlies, um, you know, wins my heart is going there. But first of all, he, you know, he's going to take Buttercup. I also forget which one was, you know, kidnapped last time. Um, I, I think it was Clover that was kidnapped. Uh, does it say? No. Oh, it doesn't. That's sad. Okay. I've also come up with the theory that Lil Buttercup is really protective of Clover because of what happened to her. I'm so happy with this build, by the way. I'm, I'm sorry. That's like really all I can think about is how happy I am with this build. Oh, no. He should take care of the children. Let him do it. What do you want? Cold. Cold. Oh, they're both cold. Butter... Oh, protector archetype. That's sweet. Where's the thermostat? Okay, we have 3,000 left over, so that's good. We're going to activate the auto thermostat. Oh, we've got a pair of bills. Right. Change Change outfit for Buttercup. Why? Where are you taking the, your child? You, you, you took Buttercup all the way out here to change her outfit. Oh, look at them. 
How cute. Not the sound. The sound is actually quite awful. Aww. Oh, you can hear them on the floor up. How is she getting any meditation done? Mm, miracle worker, that's out. Um, we need to do something fun. These two might have to go out on a little date. Actually, I think they're doing pretty well for themselves. Oh, I forgot I have the new pack. She doesn't find him all that attractive. Hmm. His attraction level is unknown. Infants can be a real handful, especially for new parents. I specialize in childcare, and I've helped young families in your neighborhood plenty of times. I'd be happy to... Uh, no. Because the last nanny we had kind of stole our child. She's not that attracted to him. What is his perception of her? He's also neutral? It's probably because I didn't give them any attraction things. I also think she needs a bit of an update. Uh, are her eyelash lashes glitched? They are, just just a wee bit. Oh. Oh well. Um, we're gonna pretend her eyelashes are not glitched. Um, okay, whatever. Um, but she needs a bit of a more grown up look, I think, because she is now an adult. So, I can't tell if I'm gonna give her a haircut or what. You know, I am kind of thinking maybe something like this. Um, I'm thinking we trade in the dress now. And she can wear a white shirt, because yellow and white are her colors. Okay, yeah. That, that I think, is good. Okay, now we're going to have to change this up. Or maybe we just delete it. Only three outfits. And you know what? This is very respectable. That doesn't have them. Yep, yeah, there we go. Why do we still have good relationship with Zachary? He stole our child. Best is married to Sergio Romeo. Does she? She has a child. Doc Den in Windenburg. I say we go visit her. Should we bring her, like, some foodies? Like, should we bake? I feel like we should bake. Oh. Um, okay. Then we can bake. I'm an Egypt. We'll give her breadsticks. Because I didn't pay close enough attention. They have a cute little house. And I believe their child is facing the wrong way, but oh well. Also, would like your child to be aged up to match mine. Thank you. You know, there we go. Ooh, that, yeah. They both are not that attracted to each other. But I, I think he is ready to propose to her. But she... I don't know. I think she wants it to happen. I just don't think she's expecting it to happen based on their current relationship level. He is actually ready for something more. And so he's proposing to her. He's literally sweating. <laughs> But he's finally proposed because I think, oh, aw, sure, they can be wholesome. That's great. I think they're just ready for that next step. I'm so done with this. Infants suck. Yeah, put, put the child back. Put, put the child back. Put the child down. Down. I'm gonna explode. What is this? We're holding the child as we're using the restroom and on our phone. This is the most irresponsible thing I've ever seen. Poor Clover. That infant's holding on for dear life. This is actually really cute though. Like this little living space. I really do like it. So I'm looking at him right here. This little boy -o. And I'm thinking he needs friends that aren't daisies. I think he needs some of his own. Maybe some work friends. So, it's gym bros. Because it would be a missed opportunity, let's be honest. Okay. Uh, athlete, I'm thinking. Um, okay, let's just add a few. This looks pretty decent. Um, no mean interactions. But I think he is going to have some friends from workover. So she is going to get a cooking. 
a little something. Try a colored dango. Ooh, let's do minced pork noodles. We can do a large party size. Yes. Oh, she's she's asleep on the couch. And someone has gotten milk out of our fridge. All right. I mean, they're gym people. I guess that makes sense. They would be looking for the calcium. I really like her. I think that her and Daisy could get along too. No way. We find him very attractive. Hold on. Let's take a quick look at Carlos over here. Okay, so gave him a bit of a makeover. Let's, you know, chat him up. Talk maybe about gym bros because we're not a part of it. It's our sorry, I'm shaking everything. Um, we're not a part of it. Our husband is, but ask to create date these two they're just unfaithful i swear oh my gosh he's very flirty <gasps> we can check him out no girl i'm just ask we're, we're not telling him our attraction level babes do we do we think he's interesting maybe respectful introduction what does he think of us very attractive oh no guys this is a problem because her and marcus they don't find each other attractive at all she's satisfied in the relationship but he only thinks it's fine however their sentiments say they're deeply in love oh guys this is a bit of an issue four words she keeps sleeping she keeps sleeping on the couch and i don't know why what <gasps> oh no <gasps> girl Goosey saw Marcus break her romantic boundaries. She will break up with Marcus if this happens one more time. Daisy saw Ma- the They're no longer best friends, they're no longer together. He realized he's family oriented. Oh, no, 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 no. They don't have even any romantic relationship. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Oh my gosh, she just started flirting with her for no reason. Um, where's my girly girl? Oh my gosh. Oh no, and now she has a fear of being cheated on. I'm just so sorry. Babes, what? No, 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 we need to work this out. Because we need to work this out. Apologize. Go end, end the gathering. End it right now. Oh my gosh. Did it work? <gasps> Why is he being mean to her? Stop yelling at her. You're the one who is flirting with someone else. <gasps> Saddened. It's disappointing to see a rift in this one strong relationship. Marcus wishes things were different and he wonders if Daisy feels the same way. Deeply wounded, bitter about breakup, deeply wounded, he's, oh no. Boast about family. No, what's going, wait. No, stop, don't, don't, what? No, this was meant, she, you were just engaged. I'm at a loss for words. Oh, she was receptive to looking deeply into each other's eyes. Oh, babes. Oh, she's into that too. The thing is, it was just one flirtation. They were engaged. Maybe have a deep conversation with her, try and work it out. Like, it, it wasn't your fault. Like, I did not mean to make you feel that way. I think we need share photos, like remember all of this. La, Daisy just had her first experience understanding a positive or resilient romantic outlook. With enough of these kinds of experiences, some can develop the romantic sage trait. She's already passed her impressionable formative years. This trait will be slightly harder for Daisy to develop. Doing some work to learn about healthy romance, such as researching on a computer. Okay. Um, it seems like we might be able to become friends again. I say just Daisy and him needs to go on a bit of a repair date, but different. He really did not realize what he had till he lost it. I just don't understand why he doesn't view her as attractive. Swab kiss, just try it. No, it, it was like, I don't think so. Just maybe a flirt then. I don't, she really doesn't even want to speak to him. 
Maybe they can dance together. Slow dance with Daisy. Just try it. Oh, yes. They're just slow dancing. She's literally actually refusing to sit next to him. Okay, there we go. Progress. Kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Let's see. Can they do it? Come on. <gasps> they did it! They did it! They did it! Make out. That should do something, right? Oh, she's not there yet. She's not there yet. <gasps> They've got the little bit of romance back. Oh my gosh, yay. Oh my gosh, we can become best friends again. Yes. Please. Okay, be affectionate. Let's see if we can, you know, do a cheeky little woohoo. Yet yeah, we can go woohoo. Fix this relationship. I did not expect to spend this episode fixing the relationship. He's got to go wee so bad, but I don't even care. And I don't think he does either because this is highly important and he knows it. Well, she's satisfied. He's satisfied. Their attraction is both still neutral. Actually, just in case, real quick, because I don't want her... She's going to be neutral. Um, I'm concerned, actually, now. Um, why don't we water all, please? She's going to attend to the plants. I think he is going to... Um, propose again. I hate the new pie menu. I'm going to be so honest. Um change relationship all right in front of her little guard <laughs> the cow plant's already dead come on please yes she's willing to accept it again with our dead cow plant and our dog both very satisfied in their relationship Okay, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like on this video for more Sims in Bloom content. And make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another video. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next one.